So, we had uh, two lectures on Aryabhatiya. Now, I will be dealing with the third part of our discussion on Aryabhatiya. So, if you recall uh, in the second part, so our lecture more or less ended with uh, the discussion on the geometrical approach to finding the sign table. So, I will uh, start with that to recapitulate and then we will proceed with the analytic approach and uh, this analytic approach which has been presented by Aryabhata has in fact no parallel anywhere else in the civilization till even up to 15th century because what he has primarily done is uh, the discrete version of what we know as harmonic equation today. So, that is what it seems to be. So, it is a very interesting thing. So, we will have a more detailed analysis on this uh, in a lecture exclusively devoted for discussion on how the uh, sign values have been improved upon over a period of time. Then I will move on to certain uh, interesting problems which have been discussed by Aryabhata. So, in connection with certain formulae which he presents with this uh, simple tool which we have been referring to as Shanku. So, that is what is referred to as gnomonic shadow. So, in Sanskrit it will be called Shanku Chaya. So, based on that what are the things that can be found. We will uh, discuss an application in astronomy and then even in a day to day basis suppose there is a lamp. So, if you want to find out the height of the lamp, if you want to find out the distance of the lamp. So, how does this device help? So, in finding all these uh, quantities which will be of practical use. So, we will do that. Then we will move on to the discussion of the famous Bhuja Koti Karna Nyaya. Of course, it has been dealt with in great detail, but what I am going to do is basically choose some very interesting problems which have been given by Bhaskara in connection with that. So, here you will also notice what I have written is Jya Shara Samvarga Nyaya. So, Jya as I said, so is the card, semi card. So, Shara it refers to the Bana. So, Samvarga is product. So, here it is basically the product of the cards is same, this, this we know in a circle. So, what are the applications of this rule? So, that is what I will be dealing with in great detail and in this connection Bhaskara has presented very interesting problems as illustration. So, those will also be dealt with. So, the hack rat problem, hawk rat problem, the bamboo problem, the lotus problem, the fish cane problem. So, all that will be uh, highlighted today. Then I will move on to the arithmetic progression and sum of series. So, to recapitulate what we did. So, this geometric approach essentially had a simple observation that the chord length of one sixth of the circumference is going to be radius. So, with this the entire table was constructed. Once you know that uh, the I told you that uh, the radius so is determined based on the value of pi which is given by. So, once that is known 3 4 3 8. So, then we know r sin 30. So, r sin 30 is known and therefore, this uh, C d is also known or cos 30 is known and then r minus r cos 30 which is verse sign is known. So, B c is known, C d is known and therefore, this hypotenuse B d is known and uh, from B d you get sin 15 degrees. So, sin 30 is known, sin 15 is known and this general principle sin theta to cos theta, cos theta to verse theta and from these two you get sin theta by 2. So, this is the principle and uh, so as I showed you. Uh, so, the table goes like this. So, once you know r sin 90 and then with sin 30 you will be able to get almost 15 values. Okay. So, this is what this tree is and uh, this tree presents 8 values. So, 15 plus uh, 3 23 and uh, sin 90 basically you get all the 24 values of sin. So, what is interesting to note here is, so the geometric approach does not mean you measure. So, it is in some sense, so you observe the geometry and then you get it. So, that is what it is all about and you do not do any measurement taking a rope and then determine the sign value that does not mean that. All that is required in this is basically uh, a technique for obtaining square and square root which has been thoroughly discussed by Aryabhata and uh, 
so you will be able to generate the sign table. So this is what it is. Now I move on to then another verse which presents the analytic expression with which it is a sort of recursion relation. So based on which we will be able to get the entire sign table constructor. The verse goes like this. Prathamat chapajyardhat yei runam khanditam dvitiyardham tat prathamajyardham shaihi taistai runani sheshani. In fact, this is one of the most terse verses which can be found in Aryabhatiya and it is extremely difficult for uh, figuring out any meaning out of it but for the help of the commentators. So in fact, this verse has been slightly differently interpreted by different commentators. So Bhaskara has given a certain uh, understanding uh, to us and Nilakantha slightly differently presents this. But ultimately all of them agree that this is the recursion relation, but uh, how is the recursion relation to be extracted out of this verse that it has been slightly different approaches. So now I am not going to discuss that in great detail, all that I want to say is this verse basically translates into this equation. So if you look at suppose I know value of sin theta. So theta here is a certain unit and this unit as I mentioned, so if you divide the quadrant into 24, this happens to be 225 minutes. So all that you do is sin theta is theta you just take as a first approximation. So you take sin 225 minutes is same as 225. Okay. So you just take this. Then how do you generate the entire table? So the relation which has been presented by Aryabhata amounts to this. So R sin theta is known here and uh, for any value you will be able to generate once the first value is known using this relation. If you take i is equal to 1 and you want to get i plus 1, right? so this is how the recursion relation is used. So you know for first value now you have to, so suppose you take i is 1. So then what is i plus 1 theta sin 2 theta so will be, so in this relation so this is 0 right, so and we have sin theta here, so the sin theta minus sin theta by sin theta so minus 1, so the second value will be 224, the first value is 225, second value will be 224, so once you know the second value, so you use this recursion relation you will get the entire sign table. So this is the method which has been, so the uh, method which has been presented by Aryabhata, so is to essentially get the sign difference table. So what he does is from the previous value, see, so this is previous value, these two terms put together, so you have this the previous value of sin theta, so divide by, so the, this, this factor is same. So this is 1 by 225 is what Aryabhata has chosen. The exact recursion relation, this is easily obtained, one can show that the factor which we will have here is 2 into 1 minus cos theta. So later astronomers, so this I will discuss in greater detail in a separate lecture, so they have chosen the value, see 1 by 225 amounts to this and the other astronomers have given this value is exact value is this and as an improvement, so this has been um, refined instead of 1 by 225, so the astronomers in the Kerala school have chosen the constant to be 233 and half, okay. that will be very very close to this almost to 6 to 7 decimal place accurate. So how did they do etc. will become clear when we move on to the uh, Kerala school, our discussion on Kerala school will make everything clear to you. So with this I just want to uh, make one observation, as regards this method which has been presented by Aryabhata, this analytic approach to get the sign table, so there is an interesting observation which has been made by D'Alembert, he says the method which is curious, he refers to the uh, difference sign difference table which has been obtained just now discussed now about this he says this method is curious it indicates a method of calculating the table of signs by means of 
their second differences. If you note this, so this is basically first difference and first difference. So, if you find the difference of these two first differences, all that you notice it is proportional to sin. So, this is what I meant by saying that this amounts to the difference equation, second order difference equation. Okay. So, that is what he has in his mind when he says that by means of second differences, the differential process has not up to now been employed except by Briggs. So, he is talking about in 16th and 17th century and uh, who himself did not know that the constant factor was the square of the chord. Here then is a method which the Indians possessed and which is found neither amongst Greeks nor amongst Arabs. So, this is something which is quite unique. Now, I move on to problems related to the Shanku. So, Shanku Gunam Shanku Bhuja Vivaram Shanku Bhujayor Vishesha Hritam Yel Labdham Saat Chaya Nyaya Shanko Ho Swamuladhi. So, this is a verse wherein he presents a certain formula. So, which has to do with the shadow, how to obtain the shadow length and so on. So, in the figure, if you note x y is the shanku. Okay, this is our device with which we carry on the experiment and here a c represents the lamp post. So, here this verse says shanku gunam shanku bhuja vivaram. The term bhuja has to be understood just keep in mind because we will have an occasion to recall this and therefore, I have given the note which has been given by Bhaskara, here he says Bhuja Shabdena Pradipo Chrayaha Uchyate. The Pradipa is so lamp, lamp post, Uchrayaha the height of it. So, this Bhuja, of course, it can be once you consider a right angle triangle, either this can be chosen as Bhuja or this can be chosen as Bhuja, does not matter, but here so they have created a certain connotation and this connotation has been made clear by Bhaskara in his commentary. Because this will be other con otherwise confusing. So, Shanku Bhuja Vivaram, Bhuja is this and Shanku is this and Vivara basically means the distance of separation. What is stated in the verse is Shanku Gunam, Shanku is x y, Guna is multiplication, Shanku Bhuja Vivaram take a product, product of the distance of separation a x, Shanku Gunam, Shanku Bhuja Vivaram, Shanku Bhujayor Vishesha Hritam. This word vishesha is used to find the uh, difference between two quantities. So, vishesha normally means uh, speciality, but in the context of mathematical text many a times you will find the vishesha to be used to refer to the difference. So, shanku bhujayor vivaram basically is the difference in the heights of shanku and this bhuja which is the lamp post. So, this is what it is A c is bhuja uchraya. So, the height of that and the x y is shanku, shanku bhujayor vishesha is the difference of the two, hritam is division fine. So, shanku bhujayor vishesha hritam, yel labdham whatever you obtain is sa chaya jnaya shanku ho. So, he says that this is basically the shadow of the shanku. So, this verse has been stated by Aryabhata in order to uh, obtain the shadow that is cast by Shanku, okay, the length of the shadow. So, which means I mean if you know these two things x y and a c, so then you will be able to get this, but this has a certain astronomical application and uh, that is why he has given this relation. So, otherwise I mean this is just based on so two similar triangles and you will be able to get this relation. So, Swamuladhi means Swam here refers to Shanku. So, x b swamulat from the base of the shanku wherever is going to be the tip of the shadow. So, this is what this gives. So, this is a simple straightforward application of considering two similar triangles. Okay. So, the application comes here in the case of lunar eclipse. So, you can think of see you just see this. So, this is basically 
a depiction of what is happening in a lunar eclipse. So, the moon enters into the shadow and uh, earth is in between the sun and the moon and uh, if you just think of cutting this into half. So, basically what you have is this kind of a setup. So, here the shanku can be taken to be the radius of the earth, semi diameter of the earth and uh, this, uh, this object A c is semi diameter of the sun. So, basically the rays from this top, so as it moves and it goes and reaches this point. So, if you know this, this shanku height and this height, then you will be able to get the shadow. This is what basically Aryabhata said and this is an application and uh, wherein you know the semi diameter of earth, you know the semi diameter of sun. So, all these will be specified and with these two you will be able to and how do you know the distance between sun and the earth? So, that is uh, see in terms of certain other, it is not the exact distance, but uh, we will be able to uh, get from the what is known as uh, this Manda Karna. Okay. This is one application. The other application is so very practical. So, suppose you have uh, a lamp post and if you want to find out the height of the lamp post. So, you can actually measure the shadow. So, this is just a reverse problem. So, you know the shadow, you measure the shadow and hence you can calculate any other quantity. So, this is another uh, this, 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 this problem has been uh, given as an illustration by Bhaskara. He says Chaya Shodasha Drishta. So, you found the length of the shadow to be 16. Dva Saptati Uchritasya Deepasya. So, Deepa is the lamp post. Dva Saptati is 72. 72 is the height of this post. Moolam Kiyata Shanko Ho. Dvadashakasya Tvaya Vachyam. So, Tvaya Vachyam you have to say. So, what is this distance A x? So, you have to specify. So, this is just a illustration. So, you know one you get the other. So, this is just okay. So, we will move on to other interesting uh, verse in Aryabhatiya and in fact the commentary to this verse by Bhaskara is something which is very very uh, edifying I would say. I will discuss that. Chaya Gunitam Chayagra Vivaram Unena bhajitam koti, shanku guna koti sa chaya bhakta bhuja bhavati. So, the problem here is to find out, I mean, one, 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 one uh, important application is to find out the height of a lamp post. This, is, this can be considered to be a general problem of this nature. And here, what he says is, you carry out the experiment twice. So, once keep the shanku in one place, move the shanku to another place, so and then measure the shadows that are cast. So, from that, so what is it that you can do? So, the formulation of the problem is this way, chaya gunitam chayagra vivaram. Let me uh, explain this with equations. So, chaya is the length of the shadow. Okay. So, chaya. So, the length of the shadow, so here refers to m c as well as q d, okay. chaya. So, both are chayas since you are carrying out twice. Then chayagra vivaram, chayagra is the tip of the shadow, vivara is separation. So, chayagra vivaram, so if you consider these two shadows, basically it represents c d. So, C is one chayagra and D is another chayagra. So, chayagra vivaram basically is C D. Chaya gunitam chayagra vivaram unena bhajitam koti. So, una is basically subtraction, but what una? So, Aryabhata has not stated, but this has to be understood, and uh, here, so this happens to be the difference in the chayas. Okay. Mahata chayena alpa chaya. So, you have to subtract. So, una is the remainder. Okay. So, that is what he is mentioned by Aryabhata by the word unena. Unena bhajitam, bhajitam is divided. So, what it gives is koti. 
he says. So, koti is actually a dual usage, koti hi koti. So, there are two kotis. Okay. <laughs> and what does this koti mean? So, that is why I said you remember the word bhuja was used to refer to the height of the slam pole. So, if that is bhuja, then obviously the perpendicular is koti, and the perpendicular here refers to the plane here. See, so this is what is koti, and here there will be two kotis. And uh, if this is bhuja, if you conduct uh, the experiment by placing the shanku at m, then BC is one koti. If you conduct the experiment by placing shanku at q, then BD is koti. So, since this is bhuja, both of them are kotis depending on where you place the shanku, and that is why we have the dual usage. So, koti, so this formulation which Aryabhata has given for the expression of koti, so you get two expressions for koti, one is for BD, uh, the other is BC. So, look at this now and uh, connect it with the verse. So, chaya gunitam, so chaya. So, is Q d in first case chaya gunitam. So, gunitam what? So, C d. So, chaya agra vivaram. Okay. Chaya gunitam, chaya agra vivaram. Then you divide by unena bhajitam koti. So, this is one koti, this is another koti. Shanku guna koti. So, then he says you multiply this koti by shanku. So, P q and L m, in fact, both are shankus. Okay. So, they are of the same dimension obviously. So, when you conduct this experiment, shanku guna koti sa chaya bhakta, chaya bhakta divided by the chaya corresponding chayas. Okay. So, if you then that will give you bhuja. So, either you can use this expression or you can use this expression and you will be able to get the height of the shank, uh, lamp post. Bhaskara presents some interesting discussion on the propriety of the application of this rule to find the distance of separation between sun and the earth. So, one can think of sun to be a sort of lamp, right? Lamp post, so it is there. So, you can use this. So, you can do, can we conduct such an experiment and then get the distance of the sun from the earth? <laughs> so, this is what he is. So, Vishuva Dahani. So, Vishuvat means a certain day, it is actually referred to as equinoxial day. So, sun actually moves from uh, equinox towards the north and then again towards the south. So, this is what we call as Uttarayanam, Dakshinayanam, and all that. But suppose uh, you conduct the experiment on an equinoxial day. So, Vishuva Dahani, so he says Gaganatala Madhyavartini Savitari. Savita is sun. So, imagine that the sun is exactly on the prime meridian. So, when the sun is on prime meridian, so the shadow will be exactly in the north south line. Okay. So, Gaganatala Madhyavarti Savitari Samadakshinotara Chaya Grantarala Yojanaihi. So, Chaya Visheshena Shankunacha. See, so Chaya Vishesha is uh, so just now we had uh, a discussion of finding the difference in the chayas, right. So, the difference between the chaya. So, he says chaya vishesha you can find. So, you have the shanku. So, with all this, he kechit some people they felt vivasvad avanitalantara yojanani anayanti. So, they try to do this. So, vivasvad, vivasvan is sun, avanitala is bhumi. So, they thought that they can find out the distance of separation between the earth and the sun, so by conducting this kind of an experiment. Okay. So, then he says tad ayuktam means it is improper. Atra pradipa chaya advaya karma, karma lapa avata ropi no papadhyate. In fact, he says, in fact, even to conceive of, to speak of. So, that I mean I can think of uh, two placing shankus at two different places and then uh, so the chaya measured. So, this is not actually going to work out. Kutaha he asks, 
So yasmadaha bhuravi vivaram vibhajetu bhuhu shankuhu and so on. He just goes on. So, but the point is, so what we need to understand here is, this is something which is of astronomical magnitude, the distance and uh, the entire earth is like a point object. So, if you just think of placing a shanku and then thinking of that lamp, I mean whether you place it here or you place it in uh, Mumbai or you place it elsewhere, so it is not going to make any sort of difference. So, this is not going to work out. Okay. So, that is what I think Bhaskara wants to imply, so that you cannot just think of using this experiment to find out the distance between the earth and the sun. So, this is something which is obviously possible for distances which is of terrestrial magnitude and not celestial magnitude. So, this is what he is conveying. Then we have two nyayas, so which is presented in one arya. Nyaya is a certain theorem. So, you can take it to be a general principle is called Nyaya. Hmm? So, he says Yaschaiva Bhuja Vargaha Koti Vargascha Karna Vargasaha. So, this is something which is very well known. So, Bhuja Varga Koti Varga is Karna Varga. So, think of this. So, just to make uh, the terms familiar once more, I just think of this triangle O A E. A E is Bhuja, O E is Koti, and A O is Karna. So, he says so O E square plus A E square is O A square. Okay. So, this is what he says Bhuja Varga. Then in the later half of the verse Vritte Sharasam Vargaha Ardhajya Vargaha Sakhalu Dhanushohu. This is the other Nyaya which I have referred to as Jya Sharasam Varga Nyaya. So, Jya is uh, Ardhajya A E and E C. So, the product of A E and E C, hmm? so E C is equal to A E and therefore, it is A E square, so which is same as the product of D E and E B. The shara is basically arrow. So, if you conceive of this part of the circle A B C, then E B is shara. Consider the other part of the circle A D C, then D E is shara. So, all that he says is Sharasam Vargaha, the product of Sharas is equal to, so this is what we call as product of chords is equal. Okay. This has been illustrated with very interesting problems by Bhaskara. So, I thought I will just spend a few minutes on that. See, this application of this has been illustrated in various contexts, so which look quite apparently different, but then the principle which has to be employed is one and the same. So, that has been very beautifully brought out by Bhaskara by giving very interesting examples. The first problem is this, this hack rot rat problem. So, Bhaskara says atreva, atreva means in this connection while trying to explain this principle and its applications. Shena mushakod deshan vyavarnayanti, people describe in great detail, tadhyatha. So, he first as an introduction, he just says, ardhajya bhuja, first of all keep this in mind. So, ardhajya is A E, so this is bhuja. Ardhajya mandala kendraantaram kotihi, see, if you look at this, this is ardhajya and mandala kendra is center O. So, antaram is this, so this is koti. Tadvarga yoga moolam karnaha. Okay. So, tadvarga yoga moolam karnaha, this is the bhuja koti karna nyaya, that is mandala vyasardham. Tattu pradarshyate iya mardhajya shena sthana buchrayaha. So, keeping this problem which is going to be stated, so he says, Shena is this hawk or falcon. Okay. Shena sthana uchrayaha is the height of that. So, Shena sthana uchrayaha the height of the pole. So, now the problem is this Ashta dashako chraye shenaha stambhe yakuhu avasan nishkrantaha yekashitya bhayat 
ஷியனாத் கச்சன்னு ஆலய திருஷ்டி குரூரேண நிபாதிதா ததோ மார்கே கியதா பிராப்னோதி பிலம் ஷேனகதிர்வா ததா வாக்கியம் ஓகே ஸோ த ப்ராப்ளம் இஸ் த ஃபாலோயிங் So let us take this to be the pole. So the Shena is sitting here, that Krura Shena, and uh, Ashta Dashako Chraye. So this is given to be eighteen. So here is a hole at the bottom of this pole. and then he says some rat which uh, came out of the hole so it is somewhere here so this distance he states it as i think uh, 81 ekashitya so this circle i just wanted to draw only to show the application of this uh, direct application of this principle so he says so this rat observed this uh, hawk and then it uh, got scared and it wanted to just run into the hole okay so that's what it says so nishkrantaha it has come out ekashitya bhayat so out of fear so it wanted to get into shenat bhayat it wanted to get into gachan alaya drishti this is what is called alaya its residence so it just starts moving here so this rat but the moment it saw so it also flew down so and then so it uh, grabbed the rat here and it finished it so now the question is so kiyata prapnoti bilam shena gatirva tada vachyam so shena gati the distance traveled by shena okay shena gati hi so kiyata bilam prapnoti means so how much it has to cover in order to reach the hole so so what was the distance before which it was caught so basically the question is so what is this and what is this assuming that both of them travel at the same speed so this is the problem and this one can straight away see that it is the application of this ja shara samvarga nyaya which has been discussed so this distance and this distance are one and the same because they travel at the same speed so we have this uh, so suppose uh, we use the same notation that will be easier so ea see so let us say this is ea ha huh. so ea square divided by so suppose we call this as d so d is so suppose this is b is equal to eb so ea is known d so that is all so you will be able to solve this problem okay this is a direct application of this okay and uh, very different pro problems more or less they use the same principle so in fact the answers are 38 and half and so this is basically so this you know so this is r minus x so this distance you will be able to solve this problem and uh, what you will basically get is so this uh, 81 plus 4 so this will be 4 so if you do that 
So, 81 plus 4 by 2, so and uh, this will be the radius and 81 minus 4 by 2, so that will be the, this is what 2 are, okay. So, these are the answers. Then we have this bamboo problem. So, Shodasha Hastaha Vamsaha Pavanena Nipatitaha Swamulat Ashtau Gatva Patitaha Kasmin Bhagnaha Marutvato Vachyaha. So, he says think of a bamboo and uh, this bamboo Shodasha Hastaha. So, it is the height is 16 Vamsaha Pavanena Nipatitaha. So, it sort of fell because of the wind. Pavanena nipatitaha, swamulatu ashtau gatva patitaha. So, swamulatu from the base, ashtau gatva patitaha. So, that distance is 8, kasmin bhagnaha marutvato vachyaha. So, tell me, so he has given the height and he tells you, so the distance of the tip from the base. So, ashtau gatva patitaha kasmin bhagnaha. So, where did it break? So, you have to tell me this. So, this is the problem. So, this is also very, very similar to this, identical in fact. <coughs> so, one could think of this to be the so this is our bamboo so in this and uh, this distance so is stated to be 8 i think yeah so the tip the tip of the bamboo in fact the bamboo is like this so this broke and a part fell like this so this uh, this is specified and uh, he gives this you should be able to get the desired answers. The answers are 10 and 6, okay. So, 10 from the top and 6 from, so this is the total height, total height was stated to be 16. And the third problem is lotus. So, kamalam jalatu pradrishyam vikasitam ashtangulam nivatena Neetam majjati haste shigram kamalambhasi vachye. In fact, uh, see today there is a lot of discussion which goes on as to how to make mathematics learning very interesting. So, these are all very interesting problems which one can find in this to illustrate a very simple principle and uh, application of uh, principle in a wide variety of problems. So, this is uh, again a completely different kind of a problem, but uh, you will see that it also boils down to this. So, the problem that is stated here is the following. See, he says that somebody noted a Kamala kind of a lotus okay, and this is all water. So, he says Kamalam Jalat Pradrishyam. So, this is base of the pond. So, I drew once again the circle only to show that uh, we make use of the same principle. So, all that he says is there was a wind which was flowing mildly. So, in this direction and uh, this sort of sunk. So, this flower got sunk here and it is like this. So, this is all he says Kamalam Jalat Pradrishyam Vikasitam Ashtangulam Nivatena Neetam Majjati. Okay, Nivatena Neetam Majjati it immerses Shigram Kamalam Bhasi Vachi. Tell me, so what is the height of the Kamala and what is the height of the water. So, what is the data that has been given? So, it, the data given is this is 8, this 
and this distance, so he specifies it as uh, vikasitam ashtangulam, that is ashtangulam nivatena haste, majjati haste, hasta is basically 24. So, hasta is 24. So, with this once again you can see that it is the same principle jya shara sambarga nyaya you will be able to. So, you can see that see. So, if you imagine so this problem is essentially. So, this is stated so which is like jya you understand. So, jya varga so and once he gives this sometimes he gives this distance. So, in the case of hat rock problem. So, this distance was given now he is giving this distance and in another problem he gave this distance. So, it is all problems look very different, but the principle is one and the same. So, the moment you use this nyaya you will be able to get solution to all of these problems. I am mean, uh, going for the English translation carried by the wind it sinks to one hasta that is it means it has come down 7. No, no, no. So, when it was when it was vertical, so it is 8 above the water. Yeah. No, no, it is no, no, this hasta. So, majjati haste. So, here refers to hasta dure from the original. So, yetat hasta dure majjati. Ah, ah, 24. <laughs> so, this distance is 24. <laughs> majjati haste. So, he says Kamalam Bhasi Vache, you have to quickly tell me what is the height of Kamala and what is the height of water. So, the answer you can easily see it is 40 and 32, well, everything is used on the same principle. Okay. Finally, quickly, so let us see one more problem and then I will proceed further. Uh, so, there is a small error here, this is Matsya it should be, it is not Matya, Matsya Bakodesha Keshwapi. So, this matsya baka is another kind of problem fish and crane okay. matsya is fish baka is crane. So, this uh, so the problem is stated like this. So, shadvadashika vapi tasyam purvottare sthito matsya ha vayavya kone syat baka ha sthita ha tadbhayat turnam vitva vapi matsya ha karne na gato disham tato yabhyam. Parshvena agatya hataha bakena vachyam tayor yatam. This is a slight variation of this problem, not exactly identical, but he presents it this way. Okay. I will use the same figure. So, we should imagine a certain pond. So, this is what is referred to as vapi. Vapi is a certain pond. Shadvadashika Vapi. So, the dimension of this, so this is Shat and this is Dvadashika. So, the dimension of Vapi is stated to be 6 and 12. Shadvadashika Vapi. Tasyam Purvottare Sthito Matsyaha. See, suppose uh, normally in all this uh, kind of descriptions where you may have to have geometrical figures drawn. So, they will always specify some direction. Okay. So, we should just take it to be this suppose this is east and this is north. See. So, he says Purvottare sthito matsya. So, matsya is this fish. So, this fish is here in this corner of this pond. So, Purvottara is northeast. Purvottare sthito matsya it is there in that corner. Vayavya kone syad bakaha. So, Vayavya actually is northwest. Okay. So, baka is standing here. Okay. This is that bird. So, which is this is bakasthana. <laughs> so, this is matsya and this is baka. So, bakaha sitaha tadbhaya turnam. So, this fellow fish saw that baka and uh, he thought that he should try to escape somewhere. So, he says. Bhitva vapim matsya. Bhitva means cutting across. So, vapim bhitva matsya karnena gato disham tato yamyam. Yamyam disham is southern direction. 
okay. So, this is not. So, what he says is, so this fish cut across this wapi and then try to come to the southern side. By that time, this baka also walked. So, it noted that he is moving and uh, this fellow went like this. So, along the shore and caught this at this point. So, now he is asking, so parshvena agatya hataha bakena vachyam tayor yatam. So, what is the distance travelled by these two? So, once again you will see that it is application of the same thing. So, without, so he only thing is, what is to be understood here is, this distance and this distance are one and the same. So, he has just shifted it and you will get the same problem and a similar solution. Is that fine? So, these are the different kinds of interesting problems which are presented by Bhaskara as illustration of these fundamental theorems. Okay. Then I will very quickly discuss to show how Aryabhata has been able to present to formulae in very interesting form of composition. So, this is that arithmetic progression problem. So, this is all well known results, but it is only the, the charm of the language which I wanted to convey and how Bhaskara has interpreted this. Bhaskara says presents two, three expressions. So, it is not necessarily a single expression, but you have to appropriately combine the words which has been presented in this to get different formulae. So, this is what it is only to show that kind of a thing I am just uh, quoting this verse and the commentary. So, Bhaskara in fact says before commenting upon uh, the verse Atra Bahuni Sutrani. Sutra is a certain formula. So, Bahuni Sutrani many formulae have been given by Aryabhata in this single verse. Muktaka Vyavasthitani. See, this is a certain style of composition. See, in Sanskrit, so suppose there are two, three verses which are combined, then it is called Yugala. So, these two verses have to be read together in order to get the meaning. So, in fact, Kalidasa is Raghuvamsha. He starts with Raguna Manvayam Bakshye, and then some four, five verses will be there. So, all these verses have to be put together in order to understand there will be only one verb. So, which runs through all these verses, but muktaka is the opposite kind of a thing. So, within a single thing, so you can combine independently, mukta means some free kind of a thing. So, freely you can order these words to get one formula, you can freely order some other words and then you will get a another formula. So, that is why he is saying muktaka vyavasthitani means they have been arranged in the muktaka format. Tesham yatha yogam sammandhaha, yatha yogam means appropriately you have to put them together to get the formulae. This is just to give you a flavor, I thought I should do this. See, ishtam vyekam dalitam sapurvam uttaragunam samukham madhyam, ishtagunitam ishtadhanantu athava adhyantam padardha hatam. Formula 1, he says ishtam, so this is with reference to an arithmetic series. So, think of an arithmetic series A, A plus B, A plus 2D and so on. So, the formulae he says is ishtam vyekam, vyekam means one is removed from that. So, ishtam basically is the number of terms in the series. So, vyekam you remove one, dalitam divided by two. So, ishtam vyekam dalitam uttara gunam, uttara is the common difference. So, by factor with which it increases uttara uttara. So, uttara gunam samukham, mukha is the first term. So, add the first term. So, what does this give you? This gives you the mean. So, you just have to combine these words ishtam, vyekam, dalitam, you should leave sapurvam, uttara gunam, samukham. So, it gives you madhyam, madhyam the mean value of the series, fine. So, then he says madhyamam ishta gunitam ishta dhanam. So, this madhyama, so whatever you obtain, so that you take, you leave the other part. Okay. Madhyamam ishta gunitam ishta dhanam. So, it gives you the ishtadhana, ishtadhana is the sum of the n terms. Okay. So, this multiplied by n gives you 
ishtadana athava adyantam padartha hritam so this is a different thing so adi is the first term anta is the last term so padartha hritam you just divide by 2 so then also you get the so these are in fact uh, much more interesting thing has been uh, discussed by bhaskara but i'll just stop here thank you <laughs>